Hello there, fallen people. It's Gravity here, and we're going to do another Pokemon video. I know it's been a little while, uh, <laughs> but I've actually been working on a team that I was working on before um, when Isle of Armor came out, right? And I've revised it a bit here and there over the past end of the... Well, we're pretty much up to now. And I think I've got a really good team on my hands, because honestly, this has been my most successful Pokemon team in ranked battle. Because I actually made it to Great Ball tier recently, so I'm like, yes. If you can see down there, I've got 12 wins and 7 losses. That's pretty high up, man. So, let me introduce you to the team. So this team we got here is Urshifu, Amoongus, um, Corviknight, Turtonator, Male Indeedee, and uh, Palisand. I bet you're wondering about uh, <laughs> a couple of these here. Uh, uh, let's just say, don't underestimate some of these Pokemon. Now, originally I had uh, Clawitzer in instead of Amoongus, but I removed him from the team and replaced it with Amoongus, mainly due to the fact that uh, uh, Clawitzer wasn't really doing anything in this team. It couldn't really do much. So I kind of replaced it with Amoongus and see if anything will happen, but I have yet to use Amoongus yet because I've only done it a couple battles with it. So yeah, this is a very recent addition to the team, but... <laughs> but basically... The main hard hitters of this team usually depends on who the team I'm fighting will be. Let's see who I'm fighting this time. Uh, do do do. We've got Marowak, Lux, Luxray. Mm, okay. Weird, but okay. I guess they want to rep their fave, so I, I respect it. Uh, we got Rillaboom, Tora, um, Togekiss. Okay. All right. I think I know what I want to do. Kinda. Uh, I think I'm gonna go in DD. Because I feel like what I feel like actually, would they start with Rillaboom? I don't know. I feel like they don't need to. I uh, will do in DD. Uh, Corviknight, Turtonator, and uh, I don't think I should do Palisand. Urshifu, why not? Should I do Urshifu? Yeah, I'll do our shifu. Yeah, so basically, there's a couple. So, Indeedy, male Indeedy. You know, a lot of people use female Indeedy because, you know, it knows follow me. It's It can be a bit bulky. But for male Indeedy, you, it's best not to underestimate male Indeedy because it's very strong, it's very fast, <laughs> and uh, it has Psychic Surge, and it gets uh, um, Expanding Force, which will basically kill a lot of Pokemon like. There would be some Pokemon that's like super tanky and defensive, or like, at least not tanky, but tanky in a way, but also specially attack of like Venusaur, where it could just kills it in one hit. <laughs> but anyway, let's see how this goes. I feel like they're going to send out Rillaboom first, and then I'm going to end up getting Grassy, s and then, because I'm most likely faster than Rillaboom, they're going to overturn my Psychic Surge. Let's hope that's not the case. <laughs> but it's probably going to be the case. Okay, Marowak. Okay, Marowak and Luxray. I was except I was assuming Luxray was gonna come out first, but I didn't know who was gonna come out with him. So actually, I got this right. <laughs> so I got Psychic Surge up. I don't know. Does Luxray know any priority moves? I don't think so. I know uh, Marowak has Shadow Sneak, I believe. But hey, we got Mirror Armor. Get rid of that attack boost. Drop Luxray's attack because why the heck not? <laughs> And I'm going to hit him up with an Expanding Force real quick, and let's see how this goes. <laughs> um, I don't know what I should do with the uh, with this, though. Corviknight actually doesn't do well in this situation because of Luxray and Marowak, so I'm actually going to switch out. I'm going to switch into Turtonator. Now, Turtonator is a very underestimated Pokemon, in my opinion, because of its defenses and its move pool. It also gets access to the new move, Burning Jealousy. Oh, it's going to Dynamax. Which one? Marowak? Or Luxray? I feel like they're doing Luxray because it's there. No, it's Marowak. <laughs> I want to say there because, you know, Luxray isn't all that good competitively, but it's a fan favorite. <laughs> well, hey, we got Marowak up in here. Um, they were probably going to go for my uh, my Corviknight. Expanding Force. Yet oh, half damage on Luxray. A little bit on Marowak. Alright, Snarl. Hit him up the Snarl. They broke my sash. It'd be like that sometimes. 
They really do be like that sometimes, man. Max Flare on... Yup, Turtonator. You're done. Nope. No, fam. That's a no-no. <laughs> hey, sun's up. Alright, what should I hit him with? Should I hit him up with another? I think I'll do another Expanding Force. It probably won't kill. Um, I don't know if I want to do Wide Guard. Actually, no, I won't. Let's go for Burning Jealousy and let's see what happens. Actually, that's probably not a good idea because... Oh, Max Guard. Really? Interesting. Were they, like, afraid of the pressure of Turtonator? What's this? Uh, Citrus. Okay. Agua Berry. Okay. Cool. Just gonna snarl again. I should have used um, what's the what's the what's the name of the move? I should have used the uh, wide guard. <laughs> That's not gonna do anything though. Um, I'm going to use. Screw it. And Didi's probably gonna die this turn, so I'm gonna use expanding force again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually going to use, um, should I use Wide Guard? Just to be a loser. You know, just to stick it to them. Because this is their last turn of Dynamax. I'll use Wide Guard. So it's probably going to Snarl again. But uh, it's dead anyway, so. <laughs> that was probably a dumb move on my part. Ooh, hit me with the Max Quake. I'm probably going to die with the uh, damage I've accumulated. But I've got Shooka Berry. I don't know how this is going to go. Oh, we living. We living. Hey. <laughs> you know, I, I could have used Burning Jealousy, but it's a fire type, and fire types can't be burned. So that's a very uh, unfortunate situation we have here. All right, we got Rillaboom up in here. We already know what's about to happen. We already know what's going down here. My guy. Someone's gonna get uh, Misty. <laughs> what if I just like stalled out and like I use Protect? <laughs> and Protect? <laughs> no, I can't because I use Wide Guard, so I can't do that. Um, I'm going to use Body Press. <laughs> gotcha! Alright, I gotta be with the boomerang. It'd be like that sometimes. I don't know, I think I might lose this though. <laughs> because now I can't switch out. Actually... Hmm... I forgot I switched out Corviknight. I thought I, I thought I fainted. <laughs> I'm stupid. I could have switched into Corviknight. What's what is my problem, my guy? Um, shoot. I don't know what to go for because it's, you know what? I'm going for Corviknight. I know what I'm gonna do. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let Indeedee die. It's gonna happen no matter what. And I'm gonna Dynamax. And go for Max Airstream. You see, people don't... <laughs> Corphonite, um, you know, Steel Flying type, it only has two weaknesses being Electric and Fire. That's why I switched out from Luxray and Marowak. Uh, <laughs> but I have weakness policy on this Corphonite, and I have it to be a little bit physically defensive. So if it hits me with something like a Flare Blitz or something like that, I should be able to live. U-turn? Really? He really doing it like that. <laughs> okay. Alright, yeah. He was probably expecting me to do a Max Airstream. He's probably going to switch into something... What else did he have on his team? Blast Toys, okay. Okay. Come on, hit. 
Hit me with that max airstream, please. I mean, Flare Blitz. Do it! Oh my gosh, it did so much damage! What? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm losing. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> it just kamikaze <laughs> All right, no harsh sunlight, so we in there. But bro, did you see that? Why did that do so much damage? Was it life orb? <laughs> I don't think it was. I don't, I, I don't, I don't follow. I really don't. Now the big problem here is um, Rillaboom here because Grassy Surge and Grassy Glide I'm going to hit him with an Ice Punch. That's all I can really can do. I'm probably going to die. Yeah, I died. <laughs> yeah, game's over, guys. I didn't expect... I didn't expect Marowak to do that much damage. I will be very honest. I was underestimating Marowak. I forgot how strong he was. Oh man, that's an oof on my end. I probably dropped down to Pokeball status. Ooh, we're, all, we're still there. Okay. <laughs> man, it's funny because I would try to record this last time and it's completely screwed over my video because it got corrupted. Actually, let me show you. I had this thing and max attack and a lot of defense and some special defense, so that's why I was surprised. <laughs> Alright, so we got Corviknight, okay, Cinderace, Tyranitar. Ooh, ooh, this is a team. This is a team, alright. I'll give him that. Alright, Corviknight. Yeah, this is a team. Torgonite, I'm gonna do Turtonator, Corviknight. Turtonite. <laughs> uh. You know what? I'm gonna do Palisand <laughs> and Urshifu. I don't think uh, I don't think Indeedee will do good in this battle. I mean, Amoongus could do some, could maybe do things, but I'm gonna try to because this Pokemon this team looks a bit defensive, like half defensive, half offensive, especially with the fact that it has a uh, Toxapex in there. So let's see how this goes. I'm probably gonna lose, and I'm probably overthinking things. But hey, if you like that, you win, you lose. All right, what we got? Cinderace and Corviknight. Okay, okay. I see what you're putting up. I'm expecting a Gigantin Max Cinderace with Max Airstream uh, to change into Flying type. We've got two Corviknights up here. I'm going to Drill Peck this Cinderace. And I'm going to Burning Jealousy. Because I'm expecting one of them to Dynamax right now. Oh, a switch out. Okay. Tyranitar. Okay, okay. We got the real Pokemon out. <laughs> but uh, is, is he going to Dynamax the... Uh, yup, he's going to Dynamax Cinderace. I'm expecting either a Max Airstream. Maybe G-Max Fireball. If G-Max Fireball, my Corviknight is dead. <laughs> yeah, if it's G-Max Fireball, my Corviknight is G-E-D. Let's see what happens. Yup, G-Max Fireball. I'm D-E-D. -E dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I am dead. It'd be like that sometimes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send out Urshifu. <laughs> because it can't set up a sun with because it doesn't have max flare. <laughs> Get right, my guy. <laughs> and I'm going to Should I body press? Because it's probably going to have it probably has weakness policy on it to be honest. But then again, Turtonator is going to go last, so it probably doesn't even matter. <laughs> so 
So I'm just gonna use body press. One thing it's also probably gonna do is max airstream and change the flying type and then screw me over. Oop. Almost dropped my controller. <laughs> It'd be crazy if it had like a uh, choice band. I'd be like, what are you doing with your life? Why do you have choice band? I mean, maybe if you're singles, but. Yep, max airstream. Yep, change the flying. I should have went for max hailstorm. But I'm living! Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, almost kills. <laughs> it's not gonna kill me. Ooh, that almost killed Tyranitar. And weakness policy. Yay. Man, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> I was hoping it would kill. There's really nothing I can do here. Because they're both gonna be faster than me. So, this is not going to be fun. Big sad. Super big sad. So, I'm just going to, um, screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, I'm just gonna G-Max there and I'm gonna Burning Jealousy. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Because it's not fire type anymore, so it's going to deal some damage, but not a lot. And it's probably going to get the burn if, if it uses Stone Edge and misses. Stone Edge, miss. No! You're supposed to miss! No! No! All we got left is uh, Sandcastle. It be like that sometimes, man. It really do. <laughs> the biggest threat is Tyranitar here, but I'm probably going to die this turn. Of course, every time I record a video, I keep losing. And whenever I'm off camera, I keep winning. Why? I don't want your big nugget. One more battle, please. I want to win at least once. I want to show people the team. Come on, why you gotta be like this? We got Sylveon, Appleton, Licky, Licky. This is a weird team. This is a very weird team. <laughs> None of these Pokemon are like really all that used very much. I mean, Sylveon was around for a little bit, but 
This is a very unconventional team. I'll give him that. Um, <laughs> uh, who should I go with, though? I'm going to go with Ndidi first. And I'm actually going to throw in... Hmm. Corviknight? No. No. Mudsdale? No. Urshifu? Maybe? Because looking at this team, this team will probably not do... <laughs> it's probably going to be very terrible against a flying type. I'm going to do a Corviknight up. And... Should I do Amoongus? Not really anything, and really nothing on this team can can do much to Among Us. Let me <laughs> let me do something funny. <laughs> I'm gonna do something funny. <laughs> Watch this team completely wreck me, and then ruin my entire career as a Pokemon trainer. I'll just title this video: "Gravity loses three times in a row to a Licky Licky team." Muzzdale and Licky Licky. Okay, so here's what I think might happen. I think Licky Licky has access to a um, double slap or double hit or something, and it's probably gonna do that and use uh, and use Muzzdale's uh, stamina to raise his defense. That's what I'm thinking is gonna happen. I'm going to expanding force, and I'm gonna spore this Muzzdale because I feel like this one's gonna be the threat. Or it could be, or it could be, um, Belly Drum. That could also be a possibility. Oh, it's switching out. Okay. Tentacruel. This makes it perfect. <laughs> Get dead. Die. <laughs> well, it's not gonna die. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I don't really need the Focus Sash anymore. Okay, so Tentacruel's sleepy. He sleep. Tentacruel sleep. I'm going to Expanding Force, and I'm going to Rage Powder. Come to me. Please hit me, child. Licky Licky's probably gonna throw out a uh, something. I don't know. Another knockoff. So I'll get rid of my Koba Berry. I don't really need it for this <laughs> for fighting this team. <laughs> I don't really see them using a fire flying move on this team, so I don't really need it. Obstagoon! It's the goons! I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam. It's probably gonna use, um, Obstruct. So I am going to, um... I'm gonna... <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. Because <laughs> it's gonna use Obstruct, and Ndidi's faster, so it's gonna kill Licky Licky, so I'm just gonna use Pollen Puff on Ndidi and heal it. <laughs> <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this. You're dead. And heal my Ndidi, please. Thank you. And Mudsdale. I love how Amoongus hasn't been hit once. I haven't switched out my Pokemon once. Bro, this guy's dead. <laughs> I can really do whatever I want right now. <laughs> I'm expecting use to facade. Probably on my Ndidi. Oh, it's gonna Dynamax. The Obstagoon? Because it's, um, it's got a, yeah, it's an obstacle. Max Strike or Max Darkness? 
Primax Darkness. In my opinion, you should have went for Facade, but hey, that's me. I forgot that Obstagoon's pretty fast. the song <laughs> so I'm gonna pull a pro gamer move <laughs> I'm gonna do a pro gamer move here I'm going to Dynamax it's probably gonna use max guard thinking I'm gonna use a max move I'm gonna use it on Mudsdale and I'm gonna switch out into Corviknight because it's probably gonna use heavy slam again Let's see what happens. And I'm going to Dynamax. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> this battle's taking pretty long. Eshifu for Smash. It's gonna happen. Watch it happen. Hailstorm! It didn't max guard. Interesting. Hmm, makes me wish I had my, uh, my, uh, <laughs> it makes me wish I had, um, what's his face on the field? Terminator. But I don't. It's okay. It'd be like that. Rapid flow. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna use max guard, but I kinda don't. I don't know what to go for. I'm gonna go for drill pack on the Obstagon. Also, and the reason why I use drill pack instead of Brave Bird is just mainly to the fact that I just don't want the recoil damage with this set. Oh, it does not. So, I just wanna kill Mudsdale. Because if it keeps stamina upping, um, that would be good for my team. I'm gonna live, so it doesn't matter. And the best part is that when it goes back into Dynamax, I mean to regular form, <laughs> if it tries to use Obstruct, my G-Max Rapid Flow will go right through it. She's probably going to quit, or she. She's probably going to quit. No. Yep, I knew it. Well, guess what? Say hi to G-Max Rapid Flow, my guy. <laughs> there was no point. <laughs> you lost. <laughs> Video is like 30 minutes long. Whoops. I'll do one more battle. This video is gonna be like 40 minutes long. I I apologize.
Oh, guess I'm going with the Tower of Waters music. Oops. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the Tower of Waters song is pretty nice, but I like the Tower of Darkness better, but I just wonder water type Urshifu. Uh, okay. Oh gosh. They've got the the Wolfie team with the no, the team that um that Foo that Foo uh had on his YouTube channel. It's the Excel Gore with the uh the Palace Sand. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, Among Us. Quarter of the night. Turto, no. Oh, I know exactly what I want to do for this team because I know who they're gonna lead it with. I already know who they're leading with. I don't even need. I don't even need another second thought. I know who they're going to lead with. They're going to lead with uh, Palace Sand and Excelgor. I'm going to completely mess their day up. I want to see if this actually works. <laughs> Yep, I knew it! You've got some big boys on my side. <laughs> Watch this. I want to see if this works. So I'm going to use clear small, because I know it's going to use water shuriken. And it's going to have weakness policy and it's going to have all these crazy stats. I'm going to use clear small to get rid of his stat boost. And I'm going to see if burning jealousy still goes through. Even if it has a stat boost, because it gained those stat boosts in this turn. So I'm wondering if it'll get the burn. That's my thing. We're going to be here for like five minutes. <laughs> Alright, water compaction's at max power. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna hit you with this clear smog real quick. Burn jealousy off the bat! Yo! Burn! Burn! <laughs> and clear smog, you're done. <laughs> Woo! Get rid of all those stat changes. <laughs> no point, man. Oh, that was hilarious. That's lovely. I did a great job. I am proud of myself. I don't even care if I lose this battle. I'm proud of myself for doing this. They're probably very angry at me. Now I'm gonna use Rage Powder. And, um... Burning Jealousy again. Just to get rid of the Excel Gore, because it's going to use um, Water Shuriken again, but I'm going to see. Does Water Shuriken. Does a, does, will my moves redirect if it's targeting its ally? I think so. Yep. <laughs> Man, I am a. I am one mean person. <laughs> you, I ruined your strategy. Get beat. I'm gonna use a rage powder again, and then burning jealousy again. <laughs> Their spirit is broken. <laughs> I think I broke their spirit. Oops. Yeah, Water Shuriken hit me with that one, <laughs> that four damage a turn. Oh yeah, it's really, really hurting me. All right, Excel Gore is gone. 
and Palace Sand is no longer um, Palace Sand is no longer getting that help. And I'm gonna I'm gonna live. Moongus is gonna die this turn. No, next turn probably. But I'm gonna get rid of those stat changes next turn with clear smog. Hopefully if it doesn't go for a fast Pokemon, I feel like it's probably gonna happen. Porygon too. Okay, never mind. It's going to use Trick Room. And I'm gonna hit it up with uh I'm gonna hit it up with this body press real quick. <laughs> All right, clear smog and body press. Oh, my Turtonator goes first, bruh. That's a bruh moment. When your Turtonator is the one that's going first. I didn't even need the Dynamax this turn. I'm already destroying. That was a crit. Okay. Ah, oh, it's going to shore up. Alright, alright, game's over. <laughs> I gotta find a way to get rid of this thing. It's gonna use Trick Room, yeah. I, ex I expected that to happen. So that means now my Turtle Eater's gonna go last. So I'm going to... Rage Powder. And Body Press. Okay. Wow, Ice Beam did that much damage? Really? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> now, should I go for Urshifu or should I go for Corviknight? I'm gonna go for Corviknight. <laughs> You'll see in a second. So it's definitely gonna go last. It's probably gonna use. I'm assuming Porygon he probably has Thunderbolt or something like that along those lines or Discharge. Probably Discharge. I'm gonna use Power Trip and Body Press. Really? Ah, uh, this move is so toxic. I hate it. I honestly hate <laughs> Ally Switch. Just as like the video like Wolfie made. I hate that move. I hate it so much. It really needs to burn. How much damage is this going to do? A lot. Now, if I used water, it's going to, um, it's going to use its water compaction, which I don't want to do. Shoot, man. This really sucks. <laughs> it's probably going to ally switch. But either way, something is going to die this turn. Let's see what's going down. Yep, it's going to shore up. Someone's going to die this turn.
recover. Oh my gosh, this is this is gonna be annoying. We're gonna be here for like ten years. It really do be like that, man. Get out, please. Now it can die in peace. <laughs> when is Trick Room over? Is it next turn? Nope, never mind. It's this turn. Hey! Trick Room's over. We in there, boys! Gonna max knuckle. Gotta get rid of that Porygon too before he doesn't recover again. He's probably gonna use Dazzling Gleam on me. Or Moon Blast. Oh, flinch! Hey, <laughs> game's over. We got the flinch. Game's over, my guy. Good game, good game. <laughs> Should I go with the map rapid flow just for memes? I'm not going to. We won. Yay. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself for repelling that strategy. Alright, that's going to be it for today. This was a 42-minute video. Who boy. Um, this is going to be a lot, take a long while to, update, to upload. It's probably going to have a large file size. Oh, boy. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, actually, can't I... Uh, can I set up one of my teams? Can I share one of my teams? I'll do that after. But um, thank you guys for watching uh, all um, all 40 minutes of this. Ooh boy, sorry. Um, but I hope you like this team. This team was, is really fun, honestly. I might actually play more of this and see how far I can get with this season and probably even next season because it's most likely for the next couple seasons it's not going to change much in terms of rules until uh crown tundra comes out which is probably like if i had to guess probably october but uh yeah uh thank you guys for watching and i hope you see you guys in a future video see ya